In today's show, I'll be sharing what's next for Bitcoin as BTC struggles below $50,000 according to top crypto analysts. Altcoin Sherpa, quoting him right here, a lower high is almost certain. It's almost inevitable like we're going to hit some sort of lower high compared to the $70,000 area. And after that, if we hit a lower low, that's when I am very bearish. If we hit some sort of higher low, then I am bullish. And checking out this throwback tweet from Kanye West dated April 25th, 2018, he wrote, Decentralized, and as Dan Tapiero points out here, this is what hyper Bitcoinization looks like. It's still early, Moon still awaits. BTC, and as you can see in this chart, it shows you the Bitcoin network, settles more than 12 trillion this year in 2021. And quoting Tucker Carlson, who has one of the most popular shows on Fox News, people buy Bitcoin when they think the US dollar is no longer safe. And as Max Kaiser points out, proof that Sailor's Tucker Carlson appearance was a masterful orange pilling moment as we see Tucker seamlessly weave the Bitcoin price into his price on inflation, something the New York Times, CNN, the Washington Post, CNBC, and Bloomberg haven't yet figured out. Also in today's show, Rich Dad Poor Dad's Robert Kiyosaki insists depression is coming and predicts gold, silver, Bitcoin, and real estate will crash too. Checking out his recent tweet here, Fed and Biden pushing fake inflation, crash and depression coming, gold, silver, Bitcoin, real estate will crash too. Ready to buy more gold, silver, Bitcoin, real estate after crash has crashed. Time to get richer after fake inflation crashes. Be aware and take care. Also in today's show, Bitcoin enjoys regulatory certainty, but altcoins face this danger, according to MicroStrategy CEO Michael Saylor, quoting him from a new interview with Yahoo Finance. I think the big winner of the congressional hearings is Bitcoin. It's pretty clear that there's a consensus at the congressional level in support of crypto. It's pretty clear that investors want to invest in the new digital economy. Bitcoin's universally acknowledged as a common property and not a security, so there is no regulatory overhang on Bitcoin. Also in today's show, Bitcoin could explode by a thousand percent from here, according to ARK Invest, Kathy Wood, and she explains how, quoting her from a new interview on Squawk Box, we think that the move by institutions into Bitcoin could add $500,000 to Bitcoin's price if they moved into the tune of roughly 5% over time. I'll be breaking this down for you. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin back in the green as Ether and some of the alt currently correcting and in the red. But where's the Bitcoin price likely to go next? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here are Crypto News Alerts. I drop a brand new episode every single day. The goal is to get to 100,000 subs. If you like getting that crypto, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And real quick, before I kick off today's show, today's episode is brought to you by the FTX app, formerly known as Blockfolio. I've been using this app literally every single day for the past few years. It's the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is check my crypto portfolio. I personally love it because it's the easiest and fastest way to buy Bitcoin, Ether, and other top cryptocurrencies with zero fees, truly making this a no-brainer. And they're trusted by over 6 million people worldwide in over 200 plus countries around the world. And they have a special promo they're running right now where you can earn free crypto in every trade over 10 bucks. Here's how it works when you use my referral link in the description right down below. Every trade over $10 earns you a chance to get a random free coin. And the more you trade, the more you earn. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and use my referral link in the description right down below and download the FTX app today. Make some trades, claim your free crypto, and let's start stacking those sats shall we? All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. How's it going, crypto fam? Happy Sunday. Holla at your boy in the live chat. Know a popular crypto analyst and trader is mapping out what's next for the king of all crypto as the asset continues to trade below 50,000. In a new strategy session, Altcoin Sherpa says he's looking at two possibilities that could dictate Bitcoin's long-term trend. Quoting him here, a lower high is almost certain. It's almost inevitable, like we're going to hit some sort of lower high compared to the 70,000 area. And after that, if we hit a low or low, that's when I'm very bearish. And if we hit some sort of higher low, then I am bullish. The lower high setup that the analyst alludes to suggests a rally short of pushing Bitcoin above that $69,000 all-time high area, while a lower low indicates that Bitcoin will take out the critical price level at around 42,000, which is the current low of this pullback. And according to Altcoin Sherpa, he expects Bitcoin to rally to 58,000 before printing a bullish higher low setup at around 47,000 and continuing its uptrend to new record highs. Quoting him here, for now, the overall bullish market structure still is intact to me, barring some unforeseen circumstances in the macro environment, then I still believe Bitcoin is still 
bullish. And although the crypto strategist remains long-term bullish on Bitcoin, he doesn't expect the leading crypto asset to make big moves anytime soon, as he shares here. So what do I view for the price action of Bitcoin over the next few weeks? I think that we just chop. I mean, after you see a big, big move down, generally it takes a while for bottoms to form. Generally speaking, the bigger the move down, the more consolidation is needed. And to check out this entire interview with Altcoin Sherpa entitled, What Comes Next? Crypto Market Review. Check the show notes below the video in the description. And as I shared in the intro of the show, Kanye West throwback tweet from April 25th, 2018. The centralized. That's right. And as Dan Tapiero points out here, this is what hyper Bitcoinization looks like. It is still early. The moon still awaits the king of all crypto. And as he shares in this chart, the Bitcoin network settles more than $12 trillion this year in 2021. And I think it's about time that Tucker Carlson adopts the Bitcoin laser eyes now that he has been orange pill by Michael Saylor. A long time coming isn't it? And before I break down next story of the day, Rich Dad Poor Dad's Robert Kiyosaki insists depression is coming and predicts gold, silver, Bitcoin, and real estate will crash too, as well as Bitcoin enjoys regulatory certainty, but altcoins face this danger, according to MicroStrategy CEO Michael Saylor, as well as Bitcoin could explode by a thousand percent from here, according to ARK Invest, Kathy Wood, and explains how. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin, Ether, and many of the major alts are currently pumping back in the green with Bitcoin up 2% for the day. Trading at about $49,500. We have Ether up a quarter of a percent, trading just above. $4,000 Solana up a half a percent trading at 170 bucks. Binance Coin up 2% trading at $567 and Cardano up over 5% trading at $1.35. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. Robert Kiyosaki, author of Rich Dad Poor Dad, has once again warned of an impending crash followed by a depression. He expects several markets including Bitcoin to crash. Rich Dad Poor Dad is a 1997 book co-authored by Kiyosaki and Sharon Letcher and has been on the New York Times bestseller list. For over six years, more than 32 million copies of the book have been sold in over 51 languages across more than 109 countries. It is one of my favorite books coming up as a young entrepreneur, and I highly recommend if you haven't read it to check it out. Now, Kiyosaki tweeted on Thursday that the Federal Reserve and President Joe Biden are pushing fake inflation, adding the following crash and depression coming. Gold, silver, Bitcoin, real estate will crash too. Ready to buy more gold, silver, Bitcoin, and real estate after the crash has crashed. Time to get rich after fake inflation crashes. So there you have it. The best-selling author also made a prediction last week about the Biden administration, quoting him right here on Crypto Twitter. Prediction, Biden to step down soon. Kamala Harris will become the first female president. This was the plan all along. Trump ruined Hillary's ascension following Obama. God have mercy on us. And he also shares here, surging crime, borders wide open, drugs pouring in, homelessness increasing, and Christmas trees burning. Putin and she are chanting, let's go, Brandon. America is effed. Very sad. Time to fight for our freedoms. Time to get rid of commies. So there you have it. Now, the famous Rich Dad Poor Dad author warned about a crash several times. Back in June, he said the biggest crash in the world's history is coming. And in September, he reiterated his warning, expecting a giant stock market crash in October. He then warned about the U.S. sliding into a depression. And amid his gloomy predictions, Kiyosaki recommended buying Bitcoin. And in August, he said Bitcoin is the investment with the greatest upside. And in October, he said Bitcoin has a very bright future. And last month, he revealed he was buying more Bitcoin and Ether as inflation concerns intensified. And checking out his most recent tweet here, Jordan Peterson says, if you think tough men are dangerous, wait until you see what weak men are capable of. Fourth turning says, weak leaders lead to war. Biden is the weakest leader in history. Buy gold, silver, Bitcoin, and bullets. Prepare for war. Be aware and take care. And before I break down next story of the day, Bitcoin enjoys regulatory certainty, but altcoin face this danger, according to the MicroStrategy CEO, Michael Saylor, as well as Bitcoin could explode by a thousand percent from here, according to ARK Invest, Kathy Wood, and explains how. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap, sitting just above $2.2 trillion, with $69.5 billion in volume in the last 24 hours, and the current Bitcoin dominance is 41.1%, with the Ether dominance at 21.2%. And checking out the top gainers within the top 100, we have Quant leading the pack, up almost 22% for the day, trading just above $209. Oasis Network up 15%, trading above $0.28. Cents. And OKB up just above 10%, trading at $26.56. Now, which altcoins are you currently most bullish on during Q4 of this bull run? Let me know in the comments right down below. And now checking out one of my favorite indicators is the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Shows we're currently rated a 27 out of 100 in fear. Yesterday was as low as a 16 in extreme fear. Last week, an 18. 
2019 and last month a 74 in greed. And if you're not familiar with the crypto greed and fear index, extreme fear can be a sign. Investors are too worried. That can be a great buying opportunity like we're witnessing right now, BTFD, buy that freaking dip. And when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for a correction. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. The head of MicroStrategy is weighing in on the future of cryptos after industry leaders made the case for digital assets in front of Congress this week. In a new interview with Yahoo Finance, Michael Saylor says it's clear that Bitcoin has proven itself to be an asset and not a security. Quoting him here, I think the big winner of the congressional hearings is Bitcoin. It's pretty clear that there is a consensus at the congressional level in support of crypto, and it's pretty clear that investors want to invest in the new digital economy. Bitcoin is universally acknowledged as a common property and not a security, so there is no regulatory overhang on Bitcoin. If you want digital property as a long-term store of value, then every nation in the world, China, Europe, and the United States, they all acknowledge that Bitcoin is digital property. It's not a security. Saylor also acknowledges that the rest of the digital asset space still awaits scrutiny to reach comparable levels of clarity, but thinks it will come to pass. Quoting him again here, there are a lot of questions about how their security tokens will be resolved in the crypto exchanges and the centralized finance. Obviously, there's a lot of enthusiasm for it. There's a lot of pressure to move forward with regulatory clarity. I think it'll happen, but in the meantime, I think the one takeaway that any reasonable investor could have is that Bitcoin is here to stay. There really isn't any regulatory uncertainty around Bitcoin status as property, a commodity, and a store of value. And moving on to the possibility that stable coins could dethrone national currencies, the MicroStrategy CEO first explains the distinction he sees existing between crypto assets and currencies. As he shares here, I think it's a mistake to characterize any of the cryptos as currencies. They really should be thought of as crypto assets. Bitcoin is a crypto asset. It's a property. It's not a currency. The dollar is a currency. The digital dollar is a digital currency. And Saylor predicts that central bank digital currency currencies, better known as CBDCs, have the dual potential of ensuring that the U.S. dollar survives while also eliminating other weaker currencies around the world. As he shares here, I think that the digital dollar is destined to collapse the 100 weakest currencies in the world. And the U.S. dollar, which is currently the reserve currency of the world on 20th century banking rails, is going to be the reserve digital currency of the world on 21st century crypto rails. The United States needs the digital dollar. We need stable coins to spread. And the macro investor concludes his analysis by issuing a pessimistic verdict about gold status as a safe haven asset. As he shares here, the only thing that's threatened by Bitcoin is gold. Here's what's happening. People are exchanging their weak currencies for strong currencies. Gold is a weak property. What you want to do is hold a strong property that's going to appreciate and value at least at the rate of monetary inflation. So there you have it. Let me know if you agree or disagree with Michael Saylor. And before I break down our final story of the day, Bitcoin could explode by a thousand percent from here, according to ARK Invest, Kathy Wood, and explains how. But first, I want to remind Mind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all a thousand plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also, some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including my daily letter, which goes out to over 30,000 subscribers every single day. To subscribe, visit letter.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also, have a blog I update daily, which can be found at cryptonewsyes.com. Also, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications and help me get to 100,000 subs. You can also follow me on all the major podcasts and platforms from Spotify, home of the Joe Rogan Experience, to Apple's iTunes. We're currently receiving over 20,000 downloads per day. And if you're listening to the podcast, be sure to check out the YouTube channel at CryptoNewsAlerts.net for the full premium experience with video. And of course, you can follow me on Crypto Twitter. My Twitter handle is Crypto News. Yes, and you can also find me on TikTok, Telegram, and Facebook. So where we at, be sure to follow me there. But all right, now let's break down our final story of the day. ARK Invest founder and CEO Kathy Wood, shout out to Kathy, is saying that Bitcoin has the potential to erupt en route to a price tag of over a half a million dollars. That's right. Kathy Wood says in a new CNBC interview that ARK Invest foresees a scenario where institutional investors increase Bitcoin's current value by $500,000. As she shares here, we think the move by institutions into Bitcoin, if we were to choose Bitcoin, and that seems to be their first stop, could add $500,000 to Bitcoin's price. So at today's current price of roughly $50,000, we're talking about a $550,000 BTC. Let's freaking go. That means Bitcoin would rise by roughly 1,000% from the current levels. And according to ARK Invest CEO, the scenario would play out if institutional investors allocated just 5% of their capital to Bitcoin over time. And if you run the math, what if they were to allocate 
10% of their capital into Bitcoin over time. We're realistically talking about a $1 million Bitcoin price. Now, would as that institutional money managers are investing in crypto and are initially buying the two biggest crypto assets by market cap, quoting her again here, I think institutions are moving in and right now crypto of any sort, they are starting with Bitcoin and Ethereum. Crypto of any sort is the de minimis amount of percentage of institutional portfolios. And the ARK Invest CEO and founder also says that institutional investors are turning to crypto for diversification purposes, quoting her again here. The reason institutions are moving in to some extent, this is a new asset class with correlations very different compared to other asset classes. The closest correlation to other asset classes is real estate. And so institutional money managers have to look at new asset classes that are evolving that have low correlations. That's the key to diversification and it's the holy grail in terms of asset allocation. And quoting her here on Squawk Box, we think that the move by institutions into Bitcoin could add $500,000 to Bitcoin's price if they moved into the tune of roughly 5% over time. So there you have it. Let me know if you agree or disagree with Kathy Wood's $550,000 Bitcoin price prediction. And now for a quick recap, what I cover with you here in today's show. Here's what's next for Bitcoin as BTC struggles below $50,000, according to top crypto analysts. Also share that rich dad, poor dad's Robert Kiyosaki insists depression is coming and predicts that gold, silver, Bitcoin, and real estate will crash too, as well as Bitcoin enjoys regulatory certainty, but altcoins face this danger, according to MicroStrategy CEO, Michael Saylor. And we also discussed the Bitcoin price exploding by a thousand percent from here according to ARK Invest, Kathy Wood, and I explain how, but where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next? Let me know in the comments right down below. Now for the top three comments from yesterday's episode, Stefan Taylor wrote, how did Wright win the court case when he has to pay out $100 million? When there is no proof, he has access to the stash of legacy Bitcoin. The court did not recognize Wright as Satoshi, whatever Wright may say. Great point fake Toshi. And as Tony Smith points out, let's see Craig Wright move a single dollar of Satoshi's wallets. Might be a long wait. Agreed. 100%. I highly doubt it too, fam. It is what it is. Now for our third and final feature comment comes from Luigi Mario. JV, great show today. Is Craig Wright the real Satoshi Nakamoto? Most people think he is a fraud and has been lying, but if you ever listened to him or read his writings, you may actually believe him. He has said he will donate most of his Bitcoin fortune to charity. Satoshi Nakamoto would be charitable. So maybe Craig Wright really is Satoshi Nakamoto. If just one Bitcoin is moved from Satoshi's wallet, then we'll know who it really is. Time will tell. Peace, brother. And I responded, thanks, fam, for your support. Craig Wright is the official fake Toshi, in my humble opinion. And to be featured on tomorrow's episode, drop me a comment right down below. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix. That's right. Bitcoin is the glitch in the matrix. And if you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to help me get to 100,000 subs. And I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.